I'm Miranda Crone. I'm the owner of Meander's Kitchen, um, a breakfast joint that I started just about two years ago in West Seattle. And oh gosh, I really don't know what, what to give you in terms of background. It's been a meandering past. <laughs> um, let's see. I was the elephant ear girl at Saturday Market when I was 19 down in Portland and then I've been a chef in the Alaskan bush um, in a tent camp along the, the Nishigak River and a chef and deckhand on a sailboat. I've been in a fine dining executive chef. Um, let's see, I've been a short order cook. I've been a pastry chef. and and. I like making breakfast and it was a great way for me to, opening up Meanders was a really good way for me to be able to uh, take care of things like rent and groceries and still be home at night with my daughter. I was a stripper in Kentucky when I got my first prep cooking job. Fawn Rose, Pete Rose's daughter, gave me a job as a prep cook. Um, they found out where I was working and decided they wanted me to come and cook and, and, and rescue me from working there. So, yeah. Like I spent a lot of time living with my mom and a lot of time living with my dad um, at my grandparents house. So my grandma on my dad's side taught me a lot about cooking like she used to bake her own bread and she made her own mayonnaise and like the best BLT I've ever had in my whole life. She sent me down to the meat locker on my bike to pick up bacon and then we picked the lettuce and picked the tomatoes and used homemade bread and homemade mayonnaise and really oh my god <laughs> nothing that has ever quite hit that mark it's called meanders because uh, my dad's best friend from high school on was Don DeBar we'd go hiking and camping and Don would tease me and call me meander because it sounds like Miranda but also because I would kind of was sort of my hiking style, was meandering along. But just about the same day that I found out that I'd gotten the lease on the space to open Meander's Kitchen, I found out that Don had passed away from a heart attack. So um, I had been thinking about calling it the Compass Rose Cafe, and folks were saying, no, you should name it Miranda's Kitchen. And I didn't really feel comfortable giving it my name, but when Don died, I was like, that's it, I'll call it Meander's Kitchen. When I first opened Meander's, it was just me, and then just me and a buddy, and then just me and a couple of buddies. And it just kind of kept growing, but it was still, I, I got to be on the line right there at the counter and able to talk with and interact with all of my guests and, and really set the tone and, you know, dance a little bit while I'm cooking. And I had no clue that we were gonna be anywhere near as busy as we were. When I opened the first space, it was just the nine bar stools and the one four top table. And then when we expanded into the space next door, we still had an hour long wait every weekend for seating. So. I, it just it kept getting bigger and busier and busier. So I started looking around and thought, well, we've been we kind of need a bigger space, and this is a good time to, you know, if, if we don't even know that we're going to get to keep the space, moving into a larger space now would be the way to go. So we have a way bigger kitchen with a really great hood fan. I never went to culinary school, but I've been really fortunate in that I got to work on, with a lot of really wonderful chefs. Uh, Peter Zakarian, Jeffrey Harris, um, I, I don't think they're, I mean they're not famous or anything, but they've been, they were awesome and I've always taken a little bit away from every, every chef I've ever worked with. There's always something to learn. Um, but there was, I worked at the Triumph Brewing Company in New Hope, Pennsylvania, and that was um, Jeff was the chef there. They actually gave me a reading list and would quiz me. So, and that was where I got like Peterson on sauces, uh, LaRue's gastro gastronomique, and Escoffier, and then Pro Chef, and uh, Bo Freebird's pastry books knock the socks out of almost all of the textbooks. So, those are all, I have those on the shelves work out of them. They are good references. But yeah, it's all been through ex through experience and just, you know, picking people's brains and being excited about it. Everybody has something to share too, so.
and most people are pretty excited to tell you about it if you show some interest. So.